And hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to WD Carousel, a podcast. My name's Ian. And I'm Crystal. And we're going to jump to the a new park for our Discovering series because, yeah, we get to finally do that because it's true. Been, we got, to, like, we got to go all in. No order to these parks. We're no, not doing no. alphabetical. We're not doing no. chronological. We're not doing no. anything other than, hey, we're we just, chose this park. We are pure chaos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about, we're, we have now moved into Animal Kingdom, if you couldn't tell by the title, title. somewhere, the title. Um, and, and more specifically, we're going to talk about kind of like, the first big area that you're going to run into, which is the, which is not the, just Discovery Island, um, which is kind of the, <laughs> the Discovery Island, the Discovery Island, which is funny because it's not even the Discovery Island, but we'll get into that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So with Animal Kingdom, uh, I didn't even really get into the history of Animal Kingdom much, so we're just going to kind of dive into some kind of background for the area and why it is the way it is. Well, and I have some um, factoids mixed some in. Some factoids there. Yeah. So we got we got that going. But I mean, um, this was opened in two, no, not 2000, 1998. No. So yes. history is not going to be as in-depth as right. like Magic Kingdom right. was because it's only right. been around for 22 <laughs> like, years. Years. Right. So it's, you know, it's just, uh, it's just the baby. So there's, it's a, but there's there's still some interesting some interesting facts, so we're still gonna go into it, and we're gonna it's we're gonna Ian's plow ahead favorite and do this. park, so it is. It has to be, you know, it has to have good stuff in it. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I also I also really enjoy uh, O Canada, so I don't know that that's necessarily we're a judgment of quality. Talk about that. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so not only okay. are we gonna be talking about Discovery Island. Yes, that's We're true. Kind of lumping in the I can say the oasis. As yeah, well. you can hear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the oasis uh, is actually kind of the entryway to the park, which. When we planned this out, we were—I didn't even really think about the we fact that the oasis kind of just, we just didn't think about it it's being like, a thing that was. I've just kind of like lumped it. I always lump it in go? with Discover Island, yeah. right? So it's the oasis is really pretty small in terms of what it is. You get into the park, and there's just like a lot of foliage that you and and some and some stuff that you some animal yeah, I mean, there's, exhibits yeah and stuff. there's like baby yeah. animal not like yeah. baby baby animals but like small, small. animal enclosures yeah. for and, like birds. And an anteater birds. there's an anteater and an anteater. it was really cool i actually we i discovered when poop i was there, there we discovered poop there which is pretty exciting yeah um, it was with the wilderness yeah. explorers it was an actual shop love, stop love that. love that yeah the uh we saw an anteater, like a really, I can't remember the type, but there was a person there that was just like the talking to nose. us. Yeah, the very long nose. Yeah. And the, <laughs> there's this person talking to us and she was like in civilian clothing, but like was very knowledgeable. And we saw that she had a, a Disney tag and she was from nice. like the, she works for the foundation. So she was just like there oh. just to like hang out. And apparently that's like a pretty, a somewhat common thing where like if you're walking around, there might be just like a civilian dressed person who's not a cast member but they're actually a disney employee civilian. that like works with these animals yeah civilian i i know the best way to describe it That's but okay yeah so they're not really a cast member but they actually do work for disney and they they work with the animals and stuff so it's kind of kind of totally cool. read your notes as mind the gap i know you mind didn't write that the down gap. but i see main gap. main gate <laughs> and i was like my brain went mind the gap mind the gap yeah because you we know have, we have we're in the tube system and you know london obviously yeah clearly <laughs> you, if you join if you join our patreon you can uh see uh, the 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 craziness that is our notes if you want to see that let oh, us know because we could, we could do that wouldn't that be fun my scribbles <laughs> who nobody wants to see that so now, fun fact yes. did you note know this that it actually know. wasn't originally called discovery island yes originally this is it was true. called life gardens and then Life Gardens was changed to Discovery Island Garden, which was what? then changed to Discovery Island Trails. But everybody now just calls it Discovery Island. Well, the Discovery Island, because it was the, the, the note that I have here was that it was called Safari Village, like the actual like zone. And then the trails had multiple names. I could be wrong. I don't know. That was what I had, that was what I had read. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Because we, have, we apparently, have competing information. Competing information. That's that's a new one. That's a new one for us. Um, yeah, it was what I had was that the the main area that is currently Discovery Island was going to be called Safari Village, and then the trails were had a series of names um, down by the tree, and then the when when you came in when they closed Discovery Island in Bay Lake, which we'll link to that episode we did quite some time ago somewhere. Oh, yeah, and, gosh, that's an old episode. Yeah, that's an old episode. And oh. Uh, they, oh, it's going way back. Um, and they decided to kind of, in honor of that, because it ran for quite a few years, and it was the first, like, kind of zoological stuff in the mm -hmm. Walt Disney World property. Yeah. Um, they just renamed it that. Um, and that's that's the note that I have. I could be wrong but that's that was the information i, I had maybe our listeners either. will be able to correct us please let us know, please let us know like what the official <laughs> answer is on this because clearly neither of us were able to totally determine so so you know. i'm team life gardens <laughs> team life gardens. <laughs> i'll make us t-shirts it'll be exciting yes, yes. okay yeah but okay moving yes on. Yes. So the uh, in the middle of the so in it functions a lot like the castle hub in Magic Kingdom, where you've got this kind of central area. I would argue it kind of functions a bit like uh, Main Street USA and the castle hub all in one kind of deal. Yeah. Um, and so it's like it, the it, Oasis it, is the Main Street situation. Mm -hmm. And yep. then you get to the hub yep. that is the Discovery the, the Island. Discovery Island area. Yeah. And the, the cool thing, too, is then in the middle, because every park has to have a weenie, right? Yay, weenies! Yeah, they, uh, <laughs> they made... <laughs> oh, boy. I'm um, five. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, the, the middle is a, is a large... Um, uh, what's the type of tree now? I completely forgot the it's type the of tree. That they... It's on the bottom. Is it? With oh, all the man. other factoids gonna... about the tree of life. Oh, God. I think it's Bobob tree? Bobob tree. Bobob. I... Yep. Bobob tree. Okay. Um... Yeah, so they uh, they decided to make it this big, like, kind of put together uh, uh, sculpted tree. Um, Do we want to talk about would the tree have a, since you had brought I mean, why it don't up? We just, why don't we just talk about the tree since it's the center of the thing? Sure. Um, it's at the very bottom of my notes, which is really Correct. hard to get to. So if you want to get started, I'll okay. join you. <laughs> so the Tree of Life is the name. It is 14 stories tall or 145 feet. And it's actually made from a refitted oil platform mm -hmm. that is upside down. Mm -hmm. it's so that's that way, so crazy. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, normally the platform is wide and then goes to smaller out on the oceans and yep. so here they had to flip it upside down so that way the wider part was at the top to support all the branches because there's eight thousand branches on this tree mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. over a hundred and two thousand leaves and each Fake leaf leaves <laughs> yeah each leaf is over a foot long oh my god and the way that they have them attached are the leaves are made to move like real leaves so that way they're able to handle weather and including hurricanes mm -hmm. and stuff too so they flap in the breeze right. and they will like rotate and flap around i don't know i'm making all yeah. these hand gestures you can't see them <laughs> i will i'll see it later <laughs> crystal it's okay <laughs> um but one of the neat things about it is it is also carved with a whole bunch of animals both yes. living and extinct mm-hmm uh, 325 different animals were used Jeez. from all the different levels of creation. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. And But <laughs> here's a fun little factoid on top of the factoid. So yeah. when Jane Goodall first came, she noticed there were no gorillas on that tree. What? That's so weird. And she so was very weird. upset that there were no gorillas well, on yeah. that tree. That's kind of like her deal, you know? Yep. So um, she made a stink. <laughs> and so at the end, at the base of the tree, in the entrance to, um, it's tough to be a bug. 
there mm-hmm. is a statue of David Greybeard, which was the main gorilla that she had a working relationship with and had a lot of Got communication it. with. And so oh, you can cool. go ahead and take a picture and pose with David Greybeard, all because oh, Jane nice. Goodall made a stink about how there were no gorillas <laughs> on the tree. That's actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. Really? Actually. It's our closest mammalian yeah. cousin, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. can't have yeah. it on the tree of life that's exactly how jane goodall talks to you by the way 100 percent. 100 percent. um and they also oh, have man. a projection show that happens on the tree as well there are yes. honestly four different projection shows they're separate shows and so okay. they focus on different animals and different music but there's journey rendezvous gift giver and disney medley and the projection shows first started in animal kingdom may 27th of 2016 so it's a pretty recent addition okay and they happen periodically through the evening seen i think i caught like a little bit of one of them and they're really pretty spectacular like we were just like we were like leaving or entering or something once and Mm -hmm. i saw one it's they're they look really cool so yeah yeah all right. Well, so there's our, there's our tree factoids. There's our tree. Some some tree facts for you. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Should we just do a walkthrough? Sure. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my first discovering series walkthrough. You guys ready for this? Yay, I'm real. I'm so I'm real excited. excited. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you. Crystal gets her popcorn out. Just like starts. <laughs> oh no! I took a, I took a, a sip of my liquid refreshment. Oh, lovely. Cheers to you. Cheers Go to for you. it. <laughs> Thank you. So you come in from the Oasis. Uh, you will enter a... The, the, I think of the the layout of Discovery Island as sort of like a U-shape, kind of a horseshoe, um, with things kind of coming off of it. So you walk in, and you can... And if we turn... T- and you look straight ahead, and there's the tree kind of off a little well, bit farther the, down. Hold on, and the, hold on, hold on. Let me yeah, back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the Oasis, okay. there's kind of like a parting of the ways, but then you come back. So there is... Yes. Uh, you can choose left or right, but either path mm-hmm. will take you there. Um, they're just different animal little exhibits on the yes. way to get you to the bridge that yes. takes you to... To the Discovery Yeah, you were arriving from... The, I did kind of skip over what happened in the Oasis, but... So, you're fine. There's and there's a uh, uh, what do you call it a rainforest cafe at the oasis entry area too. Just nobody for, talks for, about the rainforest fun. cafe. We're just gonna bypass that. <laughs> it's bad right. food, anyways. It's, it really truly is. Um, yeah. So you walk in, and if you look to the right, you've got wilderness explorers, which we'll get to, um, and then Ray. we've got. Ca-ca. Um, and then we've got the island mercantile on the left, and then right ahead, kind of in the where the, the kind of front of the path, um, right in front of the tree area, is the uh, winged encounters stage, uh, which has a couple of uh, has a show there that's not the main bird show, but a different bird show that we'll get to. Yeah. Uh, and then if you walk, if we then take a right and start walking to the right. You will see Discovery Traders on the right side of the thing, and on the left side will be kind of the path down to get to the tree where you can go see It's Tough to Be a Bug, uh, which is the show in the tree. Uh, then uh, in that on that side as well, you'll see the Flame Tree Barbecue, and then if you look over the other way, then there's the Isle of Java, which is a little kind of, I think that might be a Joffrey one, and then the... Uh, Entry to there's like a bridge that goes over to Dinoland USA, and there's uh, also the ahead, that um, Russell and yeah, and that's yeah Adventure no, Outpost is yeah, well the meet and greet yeah Adventure Outpost is there, and that's right before the bridge. As you um, take the bridge, I'll take you to Asia, and then the left side of that bridge um, is the Eight Spoon Cafe, and then we go. Back um, or yes, if you go all the way to the end of the U, that's where the, where the thing stage to is. Asia is. Yeah, yeah. or all the way around to, the. Yeah, if we go back to kind of where the stage was at the beginning, yeah. um, we walk the other way past the entry to the oasis. So we are walking the other way on the U, um, down the path. Uh, then you'll look down. And there's a path going off to the left, which takes you to Pandora, and then that is that kind of area. That little. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out my words here. The path to the bridge that goes to Pandora on that path is where Tiffin's and the Nomad Lounge is. Mm-hmm. But if we go back up the main path, up the U-shape on the other side again, uh, Pizza Safari will be on the left. 
And then Creature Comforts is also on the left farther up before getting to the bridge that goes to Africa. Africa which is and then where to the- my scooter died. So I'm very familiar Aww. with that area. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's cool. Yeah. But it, yeah, the memories probably aren't I, as I good. Couldn't, as- I couldn't really go explore it much. My scooter was dead. Dead. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then to the right side on that area, there is the Discovery Island Trails, um, the main entrance to those, because they oh, kind of they have little where entries. my scooter. Okay. They pulled my scooter <laughs> off to this little like corner hole that looked like it was a trail, but I never went down it because, you know, okay. couldn't because the scooter was dead. Scooter was dead. Right. But that's where the entrance is. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's the main. <laughs> I think like there's more than one way in and out, but yeah, I think that's the main one. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, that's how I scooter went on an adventure without so me. So exciting, yeah. So exciting. So that's kind of that's kind of the area. Um, there's, I, I like to say that it, like the Oasis and the Hub together kind of function as Main Street USA and the Council Hub, but not necessarily separated the same way because the, the Oasis has next to nothing in terms of shops in it and everything is in Discovery well, Island. Well, there's that little shop where you can, it's right next to the stro- stroller rentals. You can buy oh, yeah. like magic bands and yeah. your photo yeah. stuff there. But Yeah, it's, they've got kind of a basic. And then yeah. on the other side near the bathrooms, there's like a little kiosk sort of thing with some ears, but nothing like titled. Right. Yeah. So, nothing, nothing that has a real, a real name. They'll still yeah. take your money, but they're not titled. Oh, for sure. <laughs> exactly. welcome to disney <laughs> disney wants money okay yes they do so getting to yeah. current attractions now that you're completely yes, lost I, i'm totally <laughs> lost yeah the wilderness explorers <laughs> might be able to help you out with that so yes indeed wilderness explorers are one of my favorite things i've cosplayed russell before from the movie yeah car yeah. car and (laughs) what you can do is you can become an honorary wilderness explorer so at the top of the bridge when you first enter into discovery island there is Mm -hmm. the wilderness explorer stand normally there's a couple of cast members dressed up as wilderness explorers that will hand you the wilderness wilderness explorer passport and get you on your way to exploring where you yeah. can get stickers and learn about animals and it's exciting and I do it every single time I'm there, but I've never once filled up the book. Because there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of neat because it does, you know, sometimes people write it off because it's like, oh, it's like a little kid's activity. But like also, like it does get you around the park, which mm-hmm. is kind of cool too. So that's a that's a pretty a pretty neat deal. Uh, next, we've got the, uh, the Discovery Island Trail, which we were just talking about. Um, those are... Um, they have like 20 animals on that trail I saw. Yeah, there's like, it's actually like, there's like a lot of stuff. And like the yeah. first, I didn't really know the trails were there until a little bit later in the times that I've gone to Disney. And so like, I only really truly explored them like actually for the first time, the last time I was there in November. <laughs> like, like I we actually, it was the first time I did that. in April yep. and then yep. COVID happened. COVID so... happened. So we haven't been... Yeah, but I'd be, yeah. I'd be interested in seeing it. I know that on the Discovery Island Trail, there used to be like capybaras. And now there aren't. Oh, I know okay. that they've they're, you know, I'm going to say extinct from the trail. They're not extinct, <laughs> but they've been removed from the trail. trail. I also know okay. that you can uh, see Galapagos tortoises there, and they actually mm-hmm. have special feeding times where you can go and watch the tortoises be fed. Neat. And Galapagos tortoises, if you are not um, into herpetology, like I kind of am. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, they are the largest tortoises in the world, and they are huge. Like, yeah. they're bigger than your household big, dog. Big, big boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it's kind of fun to see them, and their necks are really long and stretching for food. is <laughs> Nerdy fun, yeah. but that's me. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually really cool, too, because, just like me, prior to, like, the last time I went to Disney, I didn't really know, like, how to get to them or, like, how they worked. So they're usually not terribly busy, which is kind of cool, especially in like a hub yeah. area. Like you never get that. So imagine it sort of like stru- like structurally. Think of it as sort of like the lawn in front of the castle, except it's just like a forest. No, no, so, no. I'm like, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that a little bit. I'm gonna say okay. it's like um, Tom Sawyer Island. Yeah, nobody remembers it's there. Especially no, there. like every single website that I was doing research on with this was advising that if you wanted a place to like tone down and zone out in the afternoon, 
go to the Discovery yeah. Island Trail because nobody's going to be there. Everybody's going to be spread out right. throughout the rest spread of out. the park and yeah. nobody's going to be on those trails. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's I, mean, I guess that was kind of my it was like imagine like spatially imagine where the lawn is but mm-hmm. just Tom Sawyer Island is sitting right in front of the castle. Like it's like people just look past it. It's super weird. People just see it as just random kind of foliage for for in front of the tree, but it's actually yeah, it's like an actual scenery. thing you can it's do. Not- yeah, no, it's not an yeah. attraction. It's it's actually like, and it's really pretty in there. Like, it's surprisingly pretty in there. So that was I kind can't of a wait to see it. I know it's so cool, but yeah. So we'll we'll have to we'll have to go. It'll be really cool because I want to yeah. see it again. You need to see it. So yeah. Um, and then also there are street performances almost throughout uh, Discovery Island. It's I would put some down, like some examples, but they're always changing, and there's there are always new ones. Like yeah, there was. <laughs> The last time you were there, there was like the holiday festival one yeah. with the animals. Yeah. Um, and that was really cool. I've known yeah. that I've seen like almost carnival level, like colorful street walkers mm-hmm. and stilt walkers mm-hmm. wandering around before too when I've been there. And I know that pre COVID, there were live musicians <laughs> as yes. well. Um, they the cool thing too is they could they even set up temporary stages time. throughout Discovery Island, which is mm-hmm. kind of cool too. So you can just like be walking through, and they like, literally just like they have like these carts that go around. They can just build a stage basically anywhere in Discovery Island and just like set up, and they can play. So it's kind of it's kind of cool. Like there's a lot of just there's always stuff in there, mm-hmm. which is very cool. Um, and then uh, there's the Winged Encounter, which is different yes. than the Up Bird Show. Correct. Which is in a different location. And here it says, Ian had an unexpected run-in with this show on the last visit. So now I'm intrigued. Yeah, it was. I, I made that. I made that notes look way more interesting than what actually happened. But um, <laughs> if, if I actually was on the. Um, I was actually on the Discovery, uh, the Discovery Island trails for the first time. Okay. Um, and as you could, and if if my description was at all useful, um, you would know that the the trails are directly behind that bird show stage because that's like right in kind of the, the the back part of the main area when you first walk into discovery island it's like just right there mm-hmm. um and so right behind it is that space between the walking area and the anyway so that's where that's where the the trail is and i was there and we kept having like we're like is there a bird going and we kept looking up and like macaws <laughs> kept flying over our heads like right over our heads up to the yeah. tree and then back back and forth and we're like Okay, well, first of all, these aren't, like, local birds. <laughs> these aren't Florida birds, because as we kept looking, we realized that they were, like, <laughs> large parrots or something. Like, it was not <laughs> not correct. So, eventually, we found, we discovered that we were actually just walk. we were standing behind the bird show. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that ended up happening. Oh, that which makes was, um, sense. Yeah, it was funny. So, that, that was how I found out that show existed as well. I learned a lot about Animal Kingdom that trip. <laughs> 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 but, Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so then we've got the uh, Adventurer's Outpost, which is a meet and greet for uh, Mickey and Minnie, which I can't confirm this entirely, but I think that they kind of kind of set it up to accommodate the loss of Camp Minnie Mickey because yeah. that was kind of like the meet and greet for them. I know they have um, a separate now, building Pandora. for it, unlike Russell and Doug, where it's kind of an outbuilding with like a little mm-hmm. awning. Um, mm-hmm. This one is a full on building that you can go into. And so it's a good replacement for Camp Minnie Mickey. Yeah. Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah, it was it was interesting because I was like, I didn't think about that because that was like the only place to meet them in the park. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they remove it. It's so like, where are we going to put them? <laughs> so it, it, it works. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. And and then the final ones, It's Tough to Be a Bug, which is yes. a show we had talked about a bit in our best shows of Walt Disney World. And which, this yeah, one. That was about 65 ago. million years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this is one where I've actually never been there, but mm-hmm. off of what I've read and cause I have seen video of this show as well. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. haven't had the other interactions. It's a 4d show inside the tree of life with over 420. Yep. It says 428 a, seats in the theater. It's a big theater. Yeah. Don't judge me on my spelling for theater. I just noticed that I made. I, I know. I wasn't going to say anything. Hater. I, I love it's to hater. <laughs> um, 
the pre-show to get into it has a lot of like fake movie posters so they're bug themed so beauty and the bees mm-hmm. little shop little shop of hoppers, hoppers and yep. other ones like that but what makes it a 4d show is that there are air cannons like mist water cannons there's smell cannons there's hidden pokers leg ticklers Mm -hmm. and like rubber wheels on the seat to be able to have like a full like physical show as well as the scent and the visual and the sound so it's all four hence the yeah you're kind of you're kind of physically assaulted by the theater. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> but it's not um, as scary as uh, extraterrestrial, no, <laughs> which yeah, we it's had not, talked about before as well. Yeah, but, it's yeah. definitely not at that level. But it, um, I went when I was I, – and I, I haven't been in a while, but when I went last, I was probably in middle school. And I remember being mm-hmm. like, this isn't like terrifying, but like – I'm always shocked at the like they'll go that little, little extra kid, mile. It could be. I it mean, could, it, and it's kind of loud. And theater and I mean, happening. the thing that's gonna. I, to be fair, I think the thing that people really need to know if you're like on the fence about this, depending on how you feel about spiders, is really going to be the thing that defines <laughs> defines it to you. I don't know if you if you've seen the spider I've, I've, aspect I've watched, of it. Yeah, I've watched the video. Yeah, yeah. There's they they come in from the ceiling, um, and they're they're like you know, she lob you know they're huge yeah. they're really yeah. big spiders so yeah. yeah if you're not if you're if you're not okay with that happening um yeah. or can tolerate it then i would i would recommend just going ahead and, and skipping that one yeah but um, it's and it's nice, also kind of old <laughs> yeah it's a nice place to get some ac though and you're gonna get 3d mm-hmm. glasses your bug eyes to be yes. able to see the bugs um yep. but it also includes animatronics uh, a couple of them and at the time when the attraction was created they were the most up-to-date animatronics on property which is yeah pretty standard mo for new rides since like 1990 they're, something they're they're pretty good yeah they are pretty good ride they're pretty good rides they're they're pretty good uh as i recall the animatronics are pretty pretty solid they're also like emulating a pixar animation so you don't really notice it as much fun um, fact you, th- yes this attraction came out before the movie did it sure did Mm-hmm. Uh, which was so yeah, nobody was so... familiar with the characters of Flick and Hopper before the attraction opened. Yep. So yep. Uh, they were literally just uh, an ant and a grasshopper hanging out. Yep. Yep. No I video. have not seen a bug's life <gasps> since I was probably about seven i mean i gasped but i'm used to it by now with you <laughs> yeah no like i have seen it like believe me i've seen the movie it's just it's been a yeah. very 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 yeah. long time yeah um yeah so for in terms of past attractions there really aren't that many <laughs> again because no. it's a pretty young park and they yeah. kind of most things have kind of stuck around um with the notable exception of the discovery river boats yes. which i actually had been questioning why there was like these weird like boat landings when you came in like in the bridge from the oasis yeah. into discovery uh discovery island i was like what why are those down there is there a ride well there was uh it it was there were a couple of problems and obviously i would like to do probably an episode on yes. this because yes. it's interesting but let's just put it this Overview. way it was not well thought through mm-hmm. <laughs> in terms of like what it was going to be, mm-hmm. and it had a couple of different names. So we'll just we'll just go through that quick. It was Discovery River Boats until April of ninety eight. Then it was the Discovery River Taxis until January of ninety nine. Then it was the Disney Radio River Cruise until the summer of ninety nine, and they just gave up. <laughs> well, and now they're currently using those river boats as the character interactions yeah. for the park. So you're going to mm-hmm. see boats traveling around the river because the river still exists um Mm -hmm, and you're mm -hmm. able to see the different characters that you would be able to interact with in the park yeah on the boats waving at you and you're i I, honestly i like these interactions a lot more because you're able to see more characters you see them doing the stuff i know i don't need to have a hug i just want to see them see them and that's the thing too and so yeah it's interesting you bring that up because the the discovery river which is that obviously what it's named after but uh, that is like goes around the entire park. It kind of, mm-hmm. I mean, I, it's what makes the Discovery Island into an island. Mm-hmm. So it's it, it's a real thing, and it and it is a navigable waterway. Like you can get to other areas with it, but they kind of got rid of that. And it's interesting because there were like I think four of those boats, 
And yeah. two of them are like what you said, they were in storage and then they brought them back out now for these interactions. Mm -hmm. And then they, um, the other two, I believe, are either in Epcot or Animal or Magic Kingdom. And I can't remember which hmm. one's which. I think one of them might, I think it might be Epcot, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, for research some sort for of another day. taxi. Yeah, exactly. So, so now we'll, that we'll I'm hungry because we are filming this later in the <laughs> evening, let's talk about <laughs> dining. Let's talk about dining and let our stomachs rumble a little bit. Yes. I'm super excited. Yeah. So, so this, we've, this place yeah. actually has a lot more like kiosks, food kiosks as a park and whole mm -hmm. instead of having, you know, a lot more grab and go quick service or mm -hmm. sit down restaurants. I mean, they have their fair share, but you're going to find a lot more like cart kiosk looking things. Yes. Yeah. Like absolutely. I know that Eight Spoons Cafe is one of them and they are offer mac and cheese pretzels artisanal mac and cheeses so you Ooh. can get fancy mac and cheese <laughs> outstanding yeah. <laughs> uh yeah and then there's the flame tree barbecue which is similarly has it's got ribs and pulled pork and then they take a hard turn and do salads and plant-based sandwiches <laughs> <laughs> heavy meat which I, no meat. and then no meat at all just to make things really interesting <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, the Isle of Java, I actually think, is the Starbucks location because that was down the way from where my scooter died and I wanted a Starbucks. So, mm, interesting. I, think I remember that being there. I guess that I. I don't know. I, it's okay. Who's to say? Caffeine. We, we, we pull from entrance. Can be had. It's caffeine. It's some caffy. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to figure out my life is at. There we go. Tiffins. And then, of course, Tiffin's, yes, which is kind of like a the signature dining. Signature dining. Yes. yes. Um, so they've, they're kind of known for their kind of world, kind of fusion world cuisine mm -hmm. with a kind of seasonal menu that changes and is always a little bit different. So it's very, it's very high end in, in all. Yeah aspects i've seen a lot of people though be at nomads lounge especially before pandora opened because it overlooks the bridge and they were able to get mm -hmm. kind of peaks peaky looks mm -hmm. over to pandora and that one obviously yeah. has cocktails alcoholic beverages small plates um but not anything as extravagant or anything. extravagant as right. demons though I I actually we almost went to the Nomad Lounge, um, and I kind of wish we would have, but I mean, we had fun. But it was I do want to try that one once because it is really neat. It's such a cool like you get to have like this kind of neat like lounge cocktail experience like in the middle mm -hmm. of the Animal Kingdom, which is really pretty neat. So I was oh wait I see your list. Starbucks note there, so never mind. I was thinking of the wrong location. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's Coffee fine. was had. <laughs> Um, and then we've got the pizza fari because okay. classic, of course. And my my, do do you like my my note there? <laughs> yeah, what the pun suggests. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a pizza fari. Like, what do you expect it to be? It's just quality pizza. food, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's just pizza oh, salad, man. chicken, garlic knots, soup. It's a place <laughs> for you to feed your children. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do it either as a quick service or yeah. as the uh, family style yeah. thing. Creature comforts yeah. was what I was thinking of. I wasn't thinking ah. of the Java place. I, I can't even imagine the fiction. Java place right now. Which it's is probably funny, just all I can a little think kiosk. The, I mean, I wouldn't yeah. be sh shocked if it was like a Joffrey's like you had mentioned Actually, yeah. before. Because probably normally Joffrey's. they only have like one Starbucks location Starbucks. per right. park, but many park. Joffrey's kiosks. So that's right. probably it. Dang and then you, I love Joffrey. your and then I love your rainforest cafe. I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'll put it there. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. So that's there. If the rainforest cafe, yeah, it's a thing. We'll we'll it move on. It has to be a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one neat thing about that one though is technically it has two entrances. Not during COVID, but you can enter rainforest <laughs> cafe from outside of the park as well as inside mm -hmm. of the park. So it straddles the line. Yeah. It's uh, it's basically the restaurant equivalent of Switzerland. I kind of wonder how they, <laughs> they react to police people. that. Yeah, coming yeah. in, having a reservation, and being like, "Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the park because that's where I was before." I I have a sneaking suspicion. This is just me guessing that they've got like some sort of portable uh, checkpoint mm -hmm. 
you know, between the exit and like, so that way you'd, you kind of almost have to kind of like verify before you walk yeah. back over. You don't like have to tap your finger out, or anything. Log back just, in. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my, my theory. Um, but yeah, that is kind of an interesting thing. It's like right there on the edge of the park. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. Shopping. Two locations. Uh, Island Mercantile. Yep. <laughs> That's the one that I've been in. Um, <laughs> it's the souvenir <laughs> shop. They have ears. They have pins. It's the large store of... Mm-hmm. animal kingdom so if you yep. want to have a large shopping store and that's quotes air quotations relative large store mm-hmm. <laughs> um the island mercantile is the one that you would go to yep. i think it's like three storefronts all combined to be one Find. Vintage, that's just like a vintage disney tradition to like mm-hmm. make it look like there's three shops but there's just this like one gigantic souvenir shop in yep. there yep uh yeah then there's the Discovery Trading Company, which is kind of the same thing, but there's no pins, as far as I can tell. I, if you prefer that one, then good for you, I guess. <laughs> I don't have any more information than they that. They both have ears. <laughs> they yep. both have spirit jerseys. You can and you can now get stuff from like Pandora and stuff. Like if you have like want to get like a banshee or something, like mm-hmm. you can get that from there instead of having to like wait in line in the themed area. Which you know, if so that's yeah. your deal, then go good for you. And then the final thing, uh, characters. The only character we didn't mention is Pocahontas. Yeah, well, that and sounds po- about right. Then the one native person <laughs> just gets told. Pocahontas, um, she's actually on the Discovery Island Trail. She's okay. back there by the tree. So you have oh. to like work your way to the tree to be I able to saw get her. to her. I and actually that's where saw she's her. really passed up. Sometimes she has flick with her, but that's yeah. where her meet and greet is located, is by the tree. Oh man, I can't believe I forgot about that. Yeah, because I we were actually standing. It was it was weird because it was very like it was like on the trail, so it was like sort of out of the way. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a little like the crowd that was there to see her was like there to see her, not just mm-hmm. like random people who saw her and like walked up. Stopped. It was yeah. It was very it was very interesting. Like we could have just like walked up and like taking a picture with her if we wanted to because she mm-hmm. was just kind of like there which is cool yeah. but so yeah that is discovery island of animal kingdom yes indeed i'm glad that we have to like specify of animal kingdom because classic disney like makes it confusing for us well yeah you know <laughs> and if yeah. you're interested in any of the other podcasts that we referenced obviously they are in our library go ahead and look mm-hmm. them up um other than that thank you so much for joining us this has been wd carousel of podcast my name's crystal and i'm ian and we hope you have a great big beautiful tomorrow bye everybody bye